we turn now to disability. According to the World Health Organization, over one billion people in the world have some form of disability, and the majority live in developing countries. WHO says people with disabilities are among the most marginalized groups in the world. They have poorer health outcomes, lower education achievements, less economic participation, and higher rates of poverty than people without disabilities. For more on the subject, we are joined in the studio by Hilda Bimulu, an advocate for persons with disabilities in Cameroon, and a 2014 Young African Leaders Mandela Washington Fellow. Ms. Mulu, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Lenore. First so of all, congratulations be for being a fellow. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great. Listen, we want to talk about disability. In Africa, it is general, but if we trickle down to Cameroon, and your experience as a person living with disability, mm -hmm. what would you say in terms of how disability is being approached in your country? Well, I would say disability is still perceived for the most part as a curse. Disability mm. is still perceived as um, you know, something that ought to be away from the society. But there are some strides that are being made. You know, the government is trying to encourage families to accept more to be more accepting of their children with disabilities. They're encouraging persons with disabilities to be integrated into the society. And uh, there are a few things that are being done to make persons with disabilities more uh, a part of the society, even though we have a very long way to go. Because there is a saying that goes, people are disabled not just by their bodies, mm -hmm. but they are also disabled by society. Yeah. I think it is entirely the society that makes you feel disabled. Mm -hmm. You know, in as much as all of us have limitations, all of us as humans yes. have difficulties and challenges and limit. It's not just persons with disabilities. Yes. And so if the society makes it um, easy for you to access and to go about your day, mm -hmm. then you wouldn't feel disabled at all. Yeah, but today you are an advocate. You're very beautiful. You're very active. What are, what are some of the challenges that you had to be confronted with, especially oh, as a woman? Yeah, I know. Um, growing up as a child with a disability was not very easy. But I'm so grateful to God that I came from a family that was supportive and loving. And they accepted me and encouraged me and made me believe that I could be anything, mm -hmm. that I could dream and be anything. So in spite of the challenges, you know, my family had to sacrificed a lot. There were times that my siblings had to stay out of school for me to go to school. My parents have had to carry me on the back to take me to school or to the hospital. Uh, so we have all of those challenges. And again, as a woman with a disability, you know, you're asking yourself, what does the future hold for me? But again, I'm grateful that I never really had those questions. You know, I, 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 I yeah. sort of thought that Anything is possible because my parents told me that anything is possible. They showed me that they were willing to sacrifice for me to get to any length. Now, now yes. let's talk quickly about your work as an advocate. Uh, tell us about the, the platform. You work for Disabled Women, uh, disabled women yeah, Firm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so we call it a Disabled Women's Forum. Uh, we are women who have come together as women with disabilities to encourage other women with disabilities and without disabilities, you know, to educate the women and the girl child with disability, to make sure that they invest and to call on our governments also to invest in people with disabilities. You know, I read an uh, interesting quote the other day from Governor, um, from President uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt, who says that a nation, however rich, no nation, however rich, can afford to leave behind any of its human resources. And I thought about the so many people with disabilities who are being left behind. You know, conflict causes people to be disabled. Poverty makes it difficult. And so if we invest in people with disabilities, it is a way of bringing our countries forward and bringing the continent of Africa forward as well. The, the very, very uh, inspiring words there. Unfortunately, this is all the time we have. Hilda, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. And great thank job you. there. Thank you. And that was Hilda B. Mulu. She is an advocate for persons with disabilities in Cameroon and a 2014 Mandela Washington Fellow.